My name is Rebecca, and um, my husband and I live in Brooklyn, New York. We have three kids. Our oldest is Israel. He was adopted as an infant from Ethiopia. We were first-time parents, and he was a healthy child on paper, but he was not rolling over or sitting up as an infant, and so we did early intervention. He was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when he was two and a half. He was around four and a half when he was diagnosed with autism. And the neurologist said, I just don't know if he'll ever walk. When he was about five years old, my son went to a preschool for children with cerebral palsy, and the physical therapist sent me a text message of him walking on his own. Come, 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 come. I see you. I see you. I just started sobbing. I sent it to my husband. We came together. We were both just crying. It was one of the like best days of our lives. Like just something that we didn't even think was a possibility for him, and he was doing it. I remember going to a expo and seeing Fast Feet. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Fast Feet is a nonprofit organization based here in New York City and we provide adaptive and inclusive running and health equity programs for children of all abilities. On your mark, get set, go! Fast Feet came to be really as a reaction to what I could not find. You know, there's so many athletic programs for uh, typically developing children, and there's just simply not as many that are offered currently for neurodiverse children. And I think running is a really great way for kids to experience a team sport, to make friends, to learn lifelong fitness and health skills, and really self-identifying as an athlete, which is a really powerful thing. My husband is a runner and he loves to participate in local races. So this is something that's really a beautiful redemptive story about having the opportunity to share something with his son. When I found out that there was a program like this for him, it was, a, it was an incredible way to kind of create a connection with my son. Yeah, when he was first diagnosed, I thought that was something that I would never experience as a father. But being able to share that love of a sport together has just been a real gift to us. We were talking to some other families um, who had children with special needs about Fast Feet and they're like, I would love to do that. Being able to work with both Will and Rebecca to start this program, having Rebecca be such a huge help, you know, reaching out to local families, spreading the word about Fast Feet has been such a cool experience. The whole environment is just really welcoming. Our whole family has gotten involved. My neurotypical kids come and sometimes they participate, sometimes they don't, but just families are getting to know each other, getting connected, sharing resources together. The kids all cheer for one another. Um, they know his name, they're cheering for him, they're encouraging him. So he has peer relationships he doesn't have anywhere else. Israel also gets to try new things. He gets pushed. Sometimes, literally, they're dragging him along the court to keep him motivated. Big step! Oh, wow. And he just loves every day he asks if it's track club day. When Israel first joined us, you know, going around the track one time was pretty tough for him. And I do remember the first time he, you know, went around the track. And I remember Will was just so excited. He videoed the entire lap. You're doing great, buddy. He's broken so many barriers and limitations that we're able to stay positive because we just believe in him and believe that he's going to continue to be able to, uh, to surprise us with what he's capable of. I think as parents, we have the weight of, I want everyone else to see what a delight he is. Um, because sometimes, even on the outside, people can be like, oh, it's so hard for you, or why, you know, how do you do it? And it's like, yes, but he's also wonderful. I mean, I have goals for him. I want him to be more independent physically, to not need as much help with his, like, activities of daily living. But I know we're going to get there slowly. Just think, how can we just keep inching our way on these goals? And he, he does. He surprised me. Even just, like, a few weeks ago, we live on the second floor of a walk-up, and I normally have to stand next to him and physically prompt him down every stair. Oh, yeah! Dad, Dad, I don't want to go out. That's what I'm talking about. The other day, we were going to do something fun, and he ran down the stairs completely on his own. 
So I think there's a lot that we have left to uncover that he can do. I am Rebecca and I'm a scary mommy.